today on Going Public. This is it. You guys ready to party? Yeah. For the final time, our four companies are giving you, the viewer, one last opportunity to see them in action. And if you're interested, you can click to invest right here. On today's episode, Hammett officially reveals their 2021 sales. But did they hit their goal? We brought everyone together to celebrate the biggest year we've ever had. While Treble furthers their plan to take their app global. If we can take our model and grow in Mexico, we can then scale to the rest of the world. NGT Academy unveils the future of their EdTech innovation. Oh yeah, got the VR headset. Your imagination is the only limitation yep. here. We can head right. in any direction that we want. And Proven closes the books on their annual revenue. Ming and I have big ambitions as entrepreneurs. So Ming, we're all dying to know. How did Proven do in 2021? And we're giving you a sneak peek at season two. What I'm planning next will actually shock the world. There's a company that has the exclusive rights to cast Michelangelo's pieces in pure silver and pure gold. We have products that millions of people throughout 24 countries have come to trust. You don't want to miss it. It's all happening today on Going Public. On Going Public, you're going to hear from four companies that are open for investment from the general public, including you, the viewer. The companies have all filed an offering circular with the SEC that you should read carefully, including the section called Risk Factors. Head over to goingpublic.com for more info. Going Public, Hammett, Scene, 7,453.5. Today's a big day. I think it's really important to stop and just celebrate a victory, celebrate a win. From adding that retail store and the entire retail team to 200 new wholesale boutique partners around the country. I mean, it's been unbelievable. We came out of 2020 at a little over 17 million. When we started 2021, we set our sales goal at 21 million. <laughs> Andrew! We raised it every month. We're celebrating the team together. We got everybody here. I'm excited. Let's get in there and let's yeah, do this. Let's go. And of course, at the end of today, we're going to set a big goal for next year. <laughs> you guys ready to party? Thank you for coming. This is our first big bash. I don't think we've all dressed up like this ever, right? For the employees and our team in two years. It was great. So hi, I'm Tony. Jason. Hi. What company did you work for? Hammond. I heard the owner is really good looking. <laughs> hi, everyone. Hi. Thank you, everybody, for all the extra work you did. Angel, are you one year now? It's a year and a half. Is it a year and a half? We brought everyone together to celebrate the biggest year we've ever had. How's everyone doing? I just want to, for myself, say thank you, everybody. You guys came through individually and as a team. And today it's about you, thanking you for accomplishing what I think is the incredible, something that very few brands, let alone handbag brands, could have done. And uh, I know I sound really serious, so I'm going to break that and say, you guys are unbelievable. Thank you, everybody. Thank you. You should be so proud of yourself. Yeah. And traditionally, you do a countdown to celebrate the end of the year. But I think we're going to do a count up. We started the year with 21. 21. And then maybe 27. What? Then we really pushed it and thought we might hit 30. Ooh. And our sales for the year were 32. 32. <laughs> you should be so proud of yourself. 32 million in sales. Thank you. And we did it the right way, the Hammond way. They bought it, they carried it because of you. Thank you, everyone. I thought maybe this could be something we could do a couple years from now. We've been building this growth focused on the long term, and that's what Hammond's all about. Ah! This award goes to the team that drives the sales every day. Congratulations, sales! Oh! We who do you think the super squad is? That would be the marketing team! <laughs> it felt great to recognize and to thank everybody for all the hard work. Warehouse team, MVP, <laughs> and the effort and the creativity and everything they've put in through the year. Alex, get up here, rookie of the year! Oh! Dan, 
helping hand for everybody. Yeah. You're a good man. I think if I want an investor to know anything, this is just who we are. To us, this is just one more celebration on the way to something much bigger. You think it's time to set 2022 goals already? Well, I hope we'll do 45 million or more sales this year. We want people that are in it for the long haul. That will be amazing. Because it takes a long time to build what we're building. But guess what? That's how the greatest brands in the world were built. Not overnight. <laughs>the big problem that we have yeah. is that students don't have access to these high-end IT environments, yep. this high-end, really expensive hardware. Uh, we can provide training around it, but building that into a virtual or augmented reality environment is really going to help our students learning, knowledge transfer, and just get what they can't get unless they were really truly in the right. field. NextGen T is a technology company at its core. It's always been about pushing the boundary using innovation to enable real world skills training. So what we prepare for today are these R pieces that we could have in our innovation lab. So Tim's here to show us a few demos, how AR and VR could apply to our current tracks and immerse students without the actual physical space. We just have the login page here. And this is what the students would see if they put on the VR headset or if they're on their desktop. On desktop. So this is the companion application to the VR, or you could say that VR is the companion application of this. That said, the student logs in, and from there they can choose which piece of equipment that they'd like. We can click on this piece. We can explore different parts as well. We can zoom in, we can zoom out. Oh, here's our little, there's our little tutor. Virtual, virtual instructor. Yeah. And I think we can also do it where individual components can pull out, right? Oh, absolutely. absolutely. Your imagination is the only limitation yep. here. We can head right. in any direction that we want to. I could see us going so many places with this. While our competition is training, in a classroom with a whiteboard, we're taking it to the next level to teleport students into data centers. 
We could do it in real time that can be replicable and scaled to the masses. It's going to allow us to reach a lot more people in a deeper and, and more effective learning method than we were able to before. So let's go take a look at the yeah. virtual reality experience. Let's do it. Oh yeah, this is Quest 2. Of course it has the lenses, right? That's where you're gonna look through. Right, right. Yep. And once you put it on, you're gonna be in the virtual world. Again, you won't be able to see anything around you. Yeah, let's check it out. NGT Academy yeah. platform. Whoa. Wow, this is so <laughs> cool. Yeah, I can see the racks Terry seeing here. Oh yeah, I feel like so you can go ahead and walk around. These two racks. <laughs> From my perspective, IT training, especially as it pertains to hardware, is one of the prime use cases for virtual reality and augmented reality training. I see all my switches right here, patch cabling. This is really, really cool. Awesome. I could actually go 360 around this rack. Do you feel like you're really in the room with it? Yeah, well, I'm like, you see me like moving? I feel like I'm gonna hit you're it. You're gonna you touch know? it? Yeah. <laughs> Come check it out. You want to look? Yeah. Uh, Let's yeah, go right. look at the virtual field trip. Oh, it was amazing. Being able to see myself teleport into these rooms, I mean, it was like a dream come true. It's everything I imagined using this technology and to be able to go into uh, these immersive environments. Oh, there yeah, go. there we go. Look at that. Walking down a cold this aisle. This is cool. What's so great about AR and VR as mm -hmm. components to a training program is it really helps us to be able to blur that in-person versus remote aspect in the training. That's a really huge advantage. It really does set us at that higher caliber bar where we're on the cutting edge of training and learning. Now, in an actual training experience, obviously if a student were to come walking down just like Jacob did, we would have extremely high fidelity because the learning right objectives there, yep. revolve around these components, I see. right? So this, this is the part that needs to be as high fidelity as, as possible. Yep. Yeah, this is huge for us because we don't have to spend all this capital to create these physical environments, data centers or hardware and server equipment. We could actually just simulate it. I'm loving our first, you know, proof of concept. Whoa. Just being able to see it in the platform come to life. Seeing this is, is believing. Oh, I almost ran into the wall here. <laughs> <laughs> amazing. Awesome. Wow. Amazing, Tim. Yep. My favorite part about the whole thing was I was in an actual IT data center. I was like, holy smoke, this is amazing. And my mind was going wild with the ways that we can actually use this to really make our training that much better. <laughs> now to take it to the next level with higher fidelity, real actual modeling, where you won't be able to tell the difference between the gear in real life or in the virtual environment. We always want to push the envelope when it comes to immersive training. And we believe AR VR is gonna be a real differentiator. NextGenT yeah. will have the highest fidelity virtual data center in the world. That's it. <laughs> All of the students will be going through. Love it. Love it. Excited. <laughs> Let's do this. Howdy folks, Jacob and Terry here, and this is the last episode of the Going Public Show. So there's limited time to invest and join us on our mission. And we've lowered the minimum to $250 to get a piece of NGT. We've raised over $18.1 million from institutional VCs. Now we've opened this round to the public. Time is limited. If you love our mission and you want to change people's lives, you can be part of our journey by just visiting invest.ngt.academy. We've heard on this show that investing can be a balance of art and science. Well, that is certainly true with this upcoming story for season two. Check it out. Artwork to me is the greatest form of communication in humankind. It's what moves humanity. We built a fine art company based around sculptures. We own the largest master mold collection in the world, consisting of over 250 artists of over 2,000 original images. It's biblical, it's historical, it's wildlife, cultural, it's pop artwork. We've got 60,000 clients worldwide. We've grown this into a company that now has the exclusive rights to cast the greatest artistry in the history of mankind. We're casting Michelangelo's sculptures in pure silver and pure gold. And they are not just a copy or a replica. They are right from the plaster mold that was taken off of the original masterpiece. They are truly one of a kinds. Our first is the Michelangelo's Pieta, made out of pure silver through and through, 18,000 plus ounces. We're also doing the Battle of the Centaurs in pure gold. And then the David, 18 and a half feet tall, is the largest silver sculpture in the history of mankind. You look at the auction houses and what people are buying artwork for. $450 million for a Leonardo da Vinci. There's a Jeffrey Coons rabbit that sold for $91 million. What it tells us is there's a buying audience for that type of artwork. 
No one in the world has combined blue chip fine artwork with precious metal. But if you invest in this company, you get both. We are here in Mexico City. We have got a packed schedule. We have investor meetings, presentations, sales pitches, investor pitches, networking events. Mexico is the home to 4.7 million monthly active users as of Q1 2022. If we could take our model and demonstrate that we can grow in Mexico, we can then take that same model and scale to the rest of the world. Today is the inaugural kickoff first day of a Five Flags meeting. We are now live in five countries. So Five Flags is our cool internal branding for our global expansion. Toto is our newest man representing Indonesia. Patrick Morrison, Brazil. Andres Navarro, Mexico. And Kevin Mills, Colombia. And I'm representing the United States. So if I were to sit down with a retail investor who's making this decision right now, should I click to invest? This is the most important consideration. We offered this reggae almost a year ago. Since that time, the company has significantly increased users. We've almost doubled our revenue. We've signed strategic agreements with brands all over North America, and we've taken in significant private placement investment from the Circle of Trust, from the Greasy Family Office, from Chris Birch, and most recently from MNC Media out of Indonesia. I'm uh, very excited to sign this agreement and uh, to start this journey together. MNC is the largest media company in Indonesia, which is the fourth largest country on planet Earth. At Opremo in Indonesia, I have a great partner. He's the leading global media in Indonesia from radio, TV station. They've got everything. Cable television, newspapers, websites. This gives us access to hundreds of millions of consumers in a market that is mobile first, digitally savvy, young, growing, and passionate about their music. So Kevin, I'm gonna put you on the spot. How many users in Colombia right now, and what's your prediction for December 2022? How many users will we have in Colombia? Look, right now, uh, we have about 50,000 users. It's all organic, we're literally doing nothing. I still believe we can crack the million uh, monthly active users in Colombia by December 31st. Patrick, what's your prediction? Launch in Brazil, I mean, we cannot be in a small number. Brazil is a 220 million country, so I predict 5 million people launching with the right partner. Excellent. Uh, Toto. I strongly believe that we can have 5 million users by the end of 2022. We certainly would like to see that the revenue will achieve at least almost 10 million US dollars. All right, Andres, what are your predictions for, for uh, Mexico? So I would say 10 million, 10 million will be great. And I will say 100 million pesos in direct sales. There's a fist bump. We're all good. Five flags. Mexico is the first country that, you know, where we proved our business model. It's a big market with an incredible amount of digital marketing dollars flowing in. Smartphone penetration is extremely high. Music is a huge passion point, but data is very expensive. I and mean, now we're just going to try to copy and paste what's been successful here and take it to Colombia, to Indonesia, to Brazil. It's, it's incredible that 12 months ago, you know, we were just thinking about how to grow Mexico and establish ourselves in, in, in this one country. But now it's just gone from, you know, aspirations in one country to, you know, multiple countries over multiple continents. So one of the main goals of this trip was to meet with all of the members of the Circle of Trust. This is Alejandro Grisi and his business partners who are the other leading industrialists throughout Mexico, controlling tens of millions of advertising spend. That meeting apparently is six hours long and there's gonna be about 20 people. It's a Mexican lunch. It started at 2.30 in the afternoon and it went until 1.30 in the morning. It's a very good way to, to bond with our uh, new investors. Probably the most unique COT investor that we had yet to meet is the CEO, Josie, from Soccer Media. This is a company that we started on probably 15 years ago. We sell the LED system on the field, but also virtual advertisement through the TV. We sell sponsorship for the biggest teams in the soccer league, 
Turns out Soccer Media represents 110 of the biggest brands in Mexico who buy digital media and they're looking to grow from the passion point of soccer and sports to this other passion point of music. Whatever you need to succeed, we are here as your partners. We really are committed to it and Mexico is our number one priority as a country to prove this part of the revenue model in Mexico this year. So we're very grateful and very optimistic to make magic together. It's a unique product. I love to deliver uh, music for free to the, to the customers and I love to support the artists. I love it. The treble team absolutely killed it in the soccer media meeting. Now, two thirds of it was in Spanish, so I didn't understand any of that. But the biggest impact was at the end. Josie came to me and said, Bob, we've got a deal. So they're committing to prepaid ad revenue where they're gonna be advertising inside of our app. So he's not just an investor partner, they're now partner partners. Everything that's happened in 2021, we hit it out of the park. 2021 was a year of two things, raising money and proving our first global market, that being Mexico. 2022 is a whole different ballgame. You know, last year was raising money, this year is investing that money. It's go time global now. Where am I heading now? I've got a few weeks in LA and then Indonesia, Jakarta, here I come. Hey guys, Bob from Trouble. This is the last chance. You're gonna hear me giving you the chance to invest. You've got one week left. Rules preclude me from making any promises about your investment, how high it's gonna go, or even how much revenue we're gonna generate. But the one thing I can promise is that you have a management team here at Treble that you've gotten to know, and we are working every day as hard as we can to make your investment worth as much as possible. If you wanna be part of a growing global company, this is your chance to click to invest and be part of our journey. Before we finish out our final episode, I want to show you one more offering coming your way in season two. Take a look. Do you know that the average American spends almost $4,000 on health and wellness products every year? More people than ever are looking for proven ways to strengthen their immune system, combat aging, and live their best lives. Max has that. Not only do we have the patented science, we also have independent peer-reviewed studies that prove the efficacy of our products. The products that millions of people throughout 24 countries have come to trust. Lives have been changed in countless ways. That's where we've invested our time over the last 15 years. And last year, we sold nearly $40 million of products globally. But in the U.S., which is the biggest health and wellness market on the planet, we've only scratched the surface. That is, until now. We are bringing to you the opportunity to own a piece of Max as we join Going Public for Season 2. You don't want to miss this. You know, raising money is fuel for a company to grow. It's funny, like I remember talking to a big company and they were like, why aren't these startups profitable yet? Well, that's kind of like expecting a toddler to like contribute to your household expenses. That's ridiculous, right? You know, any journey I think that's worthwhile should have its highs and lows. And this entrepreneurial journey is no different. What really excites me about the process of building Proven is you know, leading my team is going after the next goal, the next business goal, continuing to grow our customer base and understanding more about our customers. Oh my goodness, I love the color already. I'm an idealist. I'm a scholar and at heart. But then when I think about why um, I wanted to be a scientist, it's really trying to make an impact. And that's what really gets me up in the morning. Looks so much better than what we had. I think the resolution could be better, and that one, the color is a little bit off. Ning and I have big ambitions as entrepreneurs. Essentially, what we do is to match the best product in the market to the best audience that can receive it or benefit from it. Imagine proven vending machine right here. Yeah. 
in 2020, we were able to reach almost 10 million in revenue, which for a new brand is quite exceptional. And we did that with a five person team. You know, I think the immigrant spirit really propelled me. I'm also a third generation entrepreneur. My grandfather, to escape a famine in China, opened a pancake shop. And then my father started a school to teach basic computer skills in China. Expanding his business is what allowed us to move to the States when I was 12 years old. I didn't speak any English. So, you know, I think I come from this lineage where people are unafraid. Proven is a consumer tech company. We're using technology to democratize a traditionally very prestige service. This is an industry that is large, growing fast, and yet the consumers are actually dissatisfied with the products there. So we think it's prime for disruption. Hi, Sharks. My name is Ming Zhao. Joining me is Ming, CEO of Proven Skincare. Ming, welcome to the show. The skincare industry hasn't really seen any innovation for the past 50 years. Unsatisfied and frustrated, she took a deeper look at the skincare industry. The natural demand that customers have for personalized skincare is so tremendous. Consumers have been wanting exactly what we create and what we uniquely provide for some time. So Ming, we're all dying to know, how did Proven do in 2021? Proven's doing great. In uh, 2021, we ended up achieving more than $22 million in revenue, which is more than 100% growth over 2020, where we did about 10 million. Cheers. Last year, we also launched into Canada, which is our first international market. And that turned out to be quite successful. You know, now between five and 10% of our revenue comes from Canada. We're learning from this experience and we want to apply that to other countries around the world as well. So we're super excited about the prospects. Someone who invests in Proven sees the growth that Proven has experienced, sees the unparalleled technology platform that Proven has built, and sees the potential for international expansion, product category expansion, we believe that we're the next multi-billion dollar global conglomerate. Well, that officially wraps up Going Public Season 1. But even though the show is over, there is still time to get in on these offerings. Head over to goingpublic.com to learn more, read the offering circulars, and if you like what you see, you can click to invest. And don't worry, Going Public will be back with more company journeys and more investment opportunities in Season 2. For the final time, I'm Lauren Simmons, and this is Going Public. Going Public is for entertainment purposes, and at no time do the company, sponsors, nor any participants provide investment advice, endorsement, analysis, or recommendations with respect to securities. On Going Public, you're going to hear from four companies that are giving you an opportunity to invest through an exemption from registration with the SEC called Regulation A. These offerings have not gone through a registration process with the SEC and do not have the investor protection that it provides. And it should be noted that just because the show is called Going Public, there is no guarantee that any company will in fact go public or ever list on an exchange like NASDAQ, for example. Bottom line, you need to know the risk going in. And Going Public makes no assurances or guarantees that any potential investor commitment or strategies discussed will result in company's success. Another thing you need to know is that Going Public is operated by Crush Capital, and Crush Capital is being compensated by the companies featured on the show. And some of our mentors have interest in the companies as well. These relationships mean that there could be a conflict of interest between the investors, Crush Capital, the companies featured, and the mentors on the show. We detail all these potential conflicts on the Going Public website at goingpublic.com.